What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue and Cooking. Listen, it has been a while since I've been on camera, so welcome back. For those of you guys that don't know or just stopping in here for the first time, I became an over-the-road truck driver a couple of years ago, two and a half years ago. So I don't have the time I used to have to knock out these videos. If you'd like to follow me over there, go check me out on No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. So anyway, Mason, what are we going to make today? Looks like we make some beer battered fried catfish and onion rings. All right, so beer battered. Uh, actually, yeah, we're gonna be making some fish and chips. Uh, we're gonna use beer batter on that. I'm gonna be using Guinness on that. And then we got some onion rings and we're gonna be using some fat tire on that. Now this, these were sent to me about six months ago to do a review on. And this is Don's Chuck Wagon recipe for both of these. And I figured, you know what, the recipe here is calling for water, but it says we can use our favorite beer in, uh, in replacement of the water. So that's what we are going to do. So I'm about to get this oil heated up. We already have our onion rings or our onions cut into rings. We have our catfish uh, cut and blotted dry. All we need to do is get this batter made and get this oil heated and see what's up with this recipe. We'll be right back. This batter. We're gonna do two cups of the batter and one cup of Guinness. All right, now we're gonna be using the dry, uh, you know, we're gonna be using the dry measuring thing for the liquid as well. I know it's not exact, it's gonna be close enough, so go ahead and make that up. Okay. And try not to get shit everywhere. All going to be in the same place. All right, once he gets that in there, we're going to add the beer in, stir it up, and our batter is going to be ready. So this is one of those that goes directly from the batter into the fryer. So should be good. Mm -hmm. Is that the whole box? No, there's still some left. All right, well, let's get the batter going. Now, I can't believe we're wasting this Guinness on some fish, but uh, hopefully it works out. And I should have told you to pour that a little bit slower. Just dump that in. Mm -hmm. We can eyeball it later down the road. So he's got that batter made. That was quick and easy. I'm going to get this hot oil over here. Now I just heated it up on the stove and we're gonna bring it over here. So hopefully I don't pour this all over him in right. the uh, meantime, so. And this is gonna be at about 375 degrees. It's actually a little bit hotter right now. All right, go ahead and start dipping this fish in. Okay. Here, give me the spatula or the whisk. Oh, you know what? Let me get a plate to start plating this stuff on. This is going to go for about four minutes. Okay, here we go. Mm. That sound will never get old. Get some of that excess off and... All right, let's get it in and stop talking. And let's just do, well, let's do this in two batches. Okay, I'll get these soaking then. It is developing a pretty nice crust. Now the directions say to cook this until it is golden brown or four to five minutes. Now since we used the Guinness, it's already going to be golden brown, so we just went ahead and went by the time instead of the color. So go ahead and we're going to set those off to the side and get them in the oven uh, while we work on these onion rings. Those look good. Loving that color. Alright, let's get on these onion rings. 
All right, we got the fish done. We're about to get on these onion rings. Now, what did we learn from the fish in the beer batter situation? <laughs> Pour a lot slower. What we're going to do, instead of adding the beer to the batter, we're going to add the batter to the beer. You know what I'm saying? So all that uh, foam or head can come off of it. So let's get going. How much are we doing again? One cup. All right, so one, no. One bottle of fat tire. Well, how many ounces is it supposed to be? Man, I can't do nothing with this fool. It's supposed to be <laughs> one cup of the, or no, two, so two cups of the batter, mm -hmm. and then one cup of beer. Yep. All right, so go ahead and get the one cup of beer in there. Okay. Better measure it. Okay. He's over here dumping the stuff too fast. That should be good. Go ahead and start whisking it in. Okay. Now it comes. Oh, so now he's so comfortable, he's not even trying to measure this time. You don't want to slow down. You don't want to stick to the measuring well, cup. Well, we don't want it to thicken up either. True. So you better slow your roll. If this batch gets messed up, it's on him. Mm-hmm. All right, he's gonna keep stirring it until it's that good consistency, almost like a pancake batter. That's looking good to me. All right, yeah, we are slightly thinner than a pancake batter, but we're gonna let this sit for a minute, see if it tightens up a little bit, and then we'll get uh, dipping these onion rings. All right, guys, we got the batter made. He's gonna go ahead, dip them in the batter, get them in the oil and really you don't need to do that many at a time you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you might want to get a few of them done you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and these are going to be some big onion rings so we really might have cut up a little bit more than we needed actually maybe actually make about double that and then get it all at one time okay that's a good right there don't want to get too many in there, but you do want to do it a little fast. Okay, let's get it going. All right, guys, so this is a wrap. Finally got my wife in here to do a little bit of a taste test. Now, as far as the way you really want to cook this, I mean, we did all the fish at one time, then we did the onion rings, since we're making a video. But if this was not a video, cooking as you go would obviously be the best way to go. You ready to get in? Yep. Now, we're just going to pair this with some tartar sauce. You could go with whatever you want. Go ahead and grab a piece. I left one without the tartar sauce for your mom. Mm -hmm. And we're just getting in with our hand. Mmm. Nice and, light. nice and crispy on the outside, mm -hmm. not too rich, good crunch, and that fish is still super tender on the inside. Well, one thing I would do, and normally if I'm doing like a product review or something like that, I won't add anything other than what they put on the box, which was nothing. This could have used a little bit more salt for me. Me too, and I'm the one who doesn't like a lot of salt. But, for a batter, Grab that box over there. For a batter, you cannot go wrong. Well, we haven't tried the onion rings yet, so yeah. let's get to the onion ring. Oh, but yeah. as far as the fish and chips go, can't go wrong with that. Oh, onion rings are just as good. Still mm -hmm. super crispy, good, good flavor, and with no seasoning at all. Yeah, it's that really good light batter. Mm -hmm. That's no good. So it doesn't take away from the onion. This is a winner. Mm -hmm. Don's Chuck, Chuck Wagon Onion Ring and Fish Fry. Good stuff right there. If you happen to see it out there, grab you three of them bad boys. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I need to go back here and rest up before I get back out here on this road. I do appreciate you guys stopping by. 
No Hippie Barbecue. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.